child sister decides to steal the place I'm going to have my wedding, she wants it for herself. And not only that, not only does she just take the venue, she wants me to pay for her wedding when I'm trying to pay for mine. So okay, I'll play along with her games, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna put every single bill in her name without even telling her. Have you ever felt like you're in the constant rivalry with your siblings? And no, I don't mean the friendly banter or quarrels, which basically define the nature of sibling relationships. I'm talking about the serious disagreements that might change the whole dynamics between the siblings. Well, I'm dealing with a situation like that. And believe me, it hurts more than when you have biased parents who just refuse to see your perspective and religiously support your siblings. And that's why the situation I'm in right now is driving me crazy. So I'm here... Turning to a bunch of strangers for advice, I'm Eve, your usual 29-year-old with usual dreams and expectations from life. And one such expectation is to hold my wedding with my fiancé, Sean, at the venue of my dreams. Yeah, it sounds crazy, I know, but I have a whole vision for my dream wedding since I was a kid. And to my luck, I was even able to find a venue that actually ticked every box for the perfect venue for me. So naturally, I pre-booked it because it's hard to get a spot there, and I was lucky enough to get one. But you must be thinking about what the problem is, right? Well, my younger sister Luna's the problem. I just can't believe the crazy demands that she's making. So hear me out. Luna wants me to give my dream wedding venue to her because it's the perfect spot and she wants to get married as soon as possible. And apparently, she would hate to go through all the hassle of booking it and then waiting for a slot for months when I could give it to her. Sounds crazy, right? I mean, what about the hassle I went through for pre-booking it months ago? This must be coming off as crazy to you guys, but honestly, I'm sort of a habitual to this behavior now. Luna has been like this since our childhood. The only difference this time is that her demands have grown immensely from some toy I got to wanting my dream wedding venue. And the worst part of it is that my parents have been enabling her crazy demands since she was a kid. They still continue to do so, and, well, let me explain my family dynamics to you guys. So, you get a better idea of why this is uh, not some new thing for Luna. Basically, Luna's been like this since we were teenagers. And I would honestly blame my parents for turning her into this entitled person because all through our childhood, they doted on her like she was a princess or some something kingdom. While I was treated as her servant, it doesn't really make sense now, does it? Like, why would the same parents treat two of their kids differently? Well, that was the case in my family. I've always been more like a disappointment to my parents, and I was born premature and was very weak. So my parents had to go through a very troubled time in my initial years. I guess at some point in time, they got tired of taking care of me, and they were sort of disappointed by my slow-growing pace. Then their ray of hope, Luna, came. She was a very healthy, cheerful kid right from when she was born. For my parents, this was the kind of kid that they had wanted from the start. From there started the preferential treatment. It was not very prominent when we were little, but as we grew up, things started to be crystal clear to me about how my parents preferred Luna over me. What can I say? She was their star pupil with perfect grades and all these medals from extracurricular activities. While I was just an average kid inclined more to my interest in fashion. It hurt me a lot at the start how my parents would always make sure Luna's demands were met, even if it meant ignoring my needs in the process. But, with time, I eventually accepted the fact that they loved Luna more. I soon stopped trying to impress them or gain their attention. Uh, this has all made Luna entitled, thinking she had the right to do whatever um, and get whatever I owned. I grew up basically bullied by my younger sister, yet I loved her and have always felt protective towards her. But that's only uh, resulted in Luna trampling over my needs and undermining me and everything that I did. She had to come out as the better one in every aspect. Well... That's exactly what happened a few months back when I organized a party to announce my engagement to everyone, and guess what? Luna took this opportunity to outshine me as well. And that's when I already informed her beforehand about why I was hosting the party. So, at the party, before I could actually announce my engagement, she ended up announcing hers with her fiancé, Mike. Later on, I told everyone about my engagement, and nobody was excited. I was disheartened because uh, that was supposed to be my moment, but she took that away from me as well, like she'd take the toys I wanted as a kid. The only thing she could never beat me in was our career. While I was renowned and well-established fashion designer with my own local brand, 
Luna was usually jumping from one job to the other as a sales assistant. I guess all those good grades don't mean so much when you're always mean to the people around you. Her temper and constant fights are one of the main reasons why Luna has to switch jobs so frequently and isn't able to stick a well-paying job uh, for long. Getting back to the situation at hand, guys. I ignored the whole engagement party fiasco, not paying attention to it much and focusing on my upcoming wedding and all the preparations that needed to be done. I was making sure I arranged a wedding I've always dreamt of for me and a the love of my life. The whole planning and preparations were going all right until now. Yesterday, while all of us were having dinner together, I was discussing the arrangements for my wedding with my parents when Luna started talking about the venue I booked and how hard it is to get a slot there. I actually thought she was genuinely interested in the topic. I was even somewhat happy that after years of acting like I didn't exist, my sister was showing interest in my life. Obviously, I was wrong, and I didn't realize until Luna told me that she would like to get married there. I still thought she was just talking about her wish to get married in a place as beautiful as the venue I picked, but it wasn't until Luna told me that I should actually give the spot to her that I realized she wanted my wedding venue. I couldn't understand a single thing, like why would I give my wedding venue to her in the first place? I mean, I made a lot of effort to get this spot in the first place, and then she continued to go on about how she didn't want to go through all the hassle of being on the waiting list for months before she got a good venue. She just wanted to get married as soon as possible, and this would be the perfect spot for her. I still couldn't believe it. How could she even present this crazy idea? Well, guys, I looked at my parents sitting in front of me, expecting that they would say something against the whole thing, but they were just sitting there, all mom, acting like there was nothing bizarre about it at all. But really, who was I expecting to take a stand for me? The people who have treated me as if I was inferior to Luna all my life. I knew I was all alone in this, so I spoke up and presented the most logical argument at present. I asked Luna if she would take my wedding venue, uh, then where will Sean and I get married? My mother simply tells me that Sean and I could postpone our wedding for a month or two and can get that spot again and get married there. Or maybe she suggested we can book some other, a simpler spot if I'm adamant on the wedding date. I was shocked. It did not make sense to me. I mean, how is any of this logical and why are none of them seeing how crazy this is? Then my parents started with all the emotional manipulation about how they've never denied me anything. Now, it was my responsibility to make sure my younger sister's demands were met. And this emotional manipulation just went on for some time. I just left my house to go stay at Sean's place for a bit because I didn't know what else to do at that point. That's where I'm staying right now. See... I know my parents had to go through a lot of trouble because of how weak I was as a kid, but that did not give them the right to treat me how they did all these years, right? But I don't know. It all sounds so crazy. The whole demand is stupid. Like, isn't some toy or dress that I can easily part with just because Luna liked it more? This is about a wedding I've dreamt of for so long. But I'm also scared of the fact that if I say no to their demands, then I would just ruin my relationship with my family. And I don't want to do that. I've not spoken to any of them since the moment I got home yesterday. They've been trying to reach out to me, but I don't know what to say to them or even pick the call up. Sean is also worried about me as I'm stressing a lot about this whole situation. I really just don't know what to do. The idea of having this wedding, as I've always dreamt of, is important to me. But is it so important as to risk losing my whole family because of it? I don't know. I just can't figure out how to deal with the situation, and uh, that's why I'm here. So guys, please tell me, what do you suggest I should do about this? Should I just take a stand for myself and refuse to let go of the wedding I always dreamt of? Or should I just prioritize my family bonds and let it go for the sake of it? Please, let me know your views on this. Updates number one. Hey guys, well, firstly, I want to say hello, it's me again after a week from my initial post. I finally made a decision, and I know what I'm here to tell you guys. It might make a lot of you furious, but please try to understand things from my side before leaving some mean comments, because there's already a whole pile of them in the comment section. <laughs> firstly, I just want to express my gratitude to everybody who supported me in the dilemma. But there were also certain people who actually accused me of not caring enough for my family. 
to answer them. If I didn't care about them, I would not have been so confused in the first place and would have chosen my dream wedding in a blink of the eye. But no, I do care about them and that's what's landed me in the situation I'm in right now. Basically, I agreed to give my wedding venue to my sister. Before you come at me for my decision, hear me out. Firstly, my whole family has been badgering me for the past few days to give it to her. And I was getting tired of the whole thing and suddenly, I just felt like this was not something I wanted to ruin my family relationship for. I thought this might be the last crazy demand Luna would ever make from me since after the wedding. You know, we'll both go our separate ways and I might just meet on occasion. I just wanted to get this over with and hence I ended up agreeing to the whole thing. I know a lot of you wanted me to refuse the whole thing as soon and just take a stand for myself. I should have done that exactly because now I'm starting to absolutely just regret my decision. You know, as things are going to get crazier and crazier as we speak. Um, I should have never uh, entertained the idea of her because it seems Luna has gone totally, uh, well, a lunatic. Because her demands just went as insane as they could possibly be, so guess what? As soon as I told Luna that she could have the wedding venue, she came with the stupidest demand and asked me to pay for her entire wedding. Yeah, I know. I mean, how can she even think of this when I have my own wedding to pay for? I knew right at the moment that I'd messed up and made the wrong decision, but still, I tried to get out of it decently without being rude and asked my parents about what happened to the wedding fund that they set up for Luna. Yeah, they had a wedding fund set up for her while they had nothing for me, and I mean absolutely nothing. <laughs> Ugh. Yet, they were asking me to pay for Luna's wedding. That's the height of insanity. They told me that they had already spent that wedding fund amount to get Luna a car a few years ago. Well, they thought they'd be able to save some money by the time Luna got married, but with the medical expenses, they couldn't. That's why the solution to this whole thing was asking me to pay for her wedding expenses. Because, well, I'm earning well enough while Luna's making just enough to cover her basic needs. I don't know how they got this logical solution, but there's no way in hell I'm allowing them to trample all over me this time. I'm sure I'm not playing the expenses for Luna's wedding, but I just don't want to plainly tell them that because that'll be too easy on them. Considering how they're taking me for granted, I just want to come up with a plan to teach my entitled sister a good lesson, so she remembers never to take advantage of a person who cares about you. I just have to figure out what can I do. But one thing is for certain, I'm taking Luna down. Update number two. Hey guys, I know it's been a month since my last update and many of you wanted to know what the situation with my family now is and whether I succeeded in coming up with a solution or not. I think the bunch of you who were disappointed because of the decision I took uh, to give the wedding venue to my sister would like this update, because I finally came up with a revenge plan. So, to answer the question of whether I agreed to pay for the wedding or not, I did agree to. Before you guys start judging me for how stupid of a decision it was, please hear me out. I did agree to pay for it, but I'm not actually going to pay for Luna's wedding. And that's my master plan. I know it's kind of confusing as we speak right now, so let me clarify for you guys just from the start. Well, a month back. After I wrote this last update, I went to uh, my family to convey my decision and told them that I would pay for the wedding. You would not believe the excitement and happiness they experienced after I broke the news to them. Luna rushed to hug me like a little kid. I mean, would you believe that this was the first time in years that my little sister hugged me? Even my parents were happy and they told me that they knew I would come around and take responsibility as Luna's older sister. Well, if they knew what I was actually planning, they would lose their minds. So, what I've been doing this past month is helping Luna plan her perfect wedding. From what I've told my family, I have postponed my wedding for a few months, so I have a lot of free time and can help Luna with hers. Well... All this time, Luna feels like I'm taking care of all the expenses of the wedding, but what I'm doing in reality is just paying a small amount to a few expenses. I mean, I'm only paying a few advances which are needed to book certain things so that Luna thinks I'm handling all the finances for her dream wedding. But in reality, I've been putting all the bills under her name. You know the funny part? Luna's actually going overboard with expenses and getting all these unnecessary things and decor just for the wedding because she thinks that I'm paying. 
But little does she know she's only added burden on herself, and the moment she realizes what has happened will be too late. So that's what my plan is. Making Luna believe that I'm funding her wedding, while in reality she's the one who actually has to pay for the whole thing. The most difficult part of the whole thing was to get Luna's signature on these documents, bidding her to the legalities of, you know, paying these expenses after the wedding. But it's actually become a lot easier due to Luna's poor alcohol tolerance, and she has no control over it, and me being her sister knew exactly how many shots of vodka it takes for her to lose her sanity and turn into the crazy drunk Luna. Well, Luna, the lunatic, as some of her friends call her when she's drunk, lol, you can just imagine how crazy that must be. So last night, it was Luna's bachelorette party. Would you believe it? I organized a bachelorette party for my entitled sister and invited all of her friends to it. Well, I did, as it was important for my plan, and it went just as I imagined it to go. See, I expected Luna to go crazy and lose control over her alcohol intake during her party because that's exactly what she does when she's in party mode. And that's what I took advantage of. Once Luna was down with a few shots of vodka, I was assured that she was not in the right mind. I went to get her signatures on the bill. I told her that these, um, a few documents require either the bride's signature or the groom, so I brought them to her. My sister was drunk out of her mind and didn't even look at them, just signed it. What I dreaded the most, a difficult part of the entire plan, actually turned out to be the easiest. And now my whole plan is in action. Luna and my parents are living calmly, enjoying the fact that they just successfully manipulated me into paying for Luna's dream wedding. But they're soon to get a surprise when it'll be revealed that Luna's the one who's supposed to pay for all this. That would be fun to watch, wouldn't it? Now, all I have to do is wait until Luna's wedding, which is in four days, and oh yeah, the fun part will start after that. My sister always wanted to one-up me and everything, right? Well, let's see how she beats me this time. I'll update you guys about what happens, but let's just hope it all goes as planned. Update number three. Hey guys, it's been a few days since my last post and it was Luna's wedding two days ago. You can guess from my excitement how well it went. It actually went better than I could have imagined and the wedding was perfect just as Luna imagined her dream wedding to be. After all, I had planned everything as per her demand and the whole arrangement was great, I guess everyone enjoyed it. I might have enjoyed it a bit myself if I was not too excited about what would happen after the wedding. Well, that was the actual fun part for me. Yesterday, in the morning, I received a frantic call from Luna and apparently she's received an email from the wedding planners and other parties included in the wedding arrangement asking her to pay a crazy amount for the wedding. Believe me when I say Luna was frantic when she called, I mean, crying about how this could happen and... I calmly told her what actually went down and how I never paid for the expenses of the wedding. Her reaction was crazy and she just started crying like a madwoman. I told her there's no use crying now, since she has to pay the amount or else those people can take legal action against her. She starts shouting at this point about how I betrayed her trust and took advantage of it. Like, really? Isn't she the one who took advantage of me uh, by getting my whole family to emotionally manipulate me? The funny part of this entire thing is the fact that all of this time her husband Mike thought she was the one who was paying for the entire thing out of the wedding venue fund. It's funny, really. Yesterday, when she called me, she was so worried about how she would pay the whole amount as she could not call Mike and our parents did not have that kind of money. But soon enough, this morning, she actually tells Mike about the entire thing. Both of them were supposed to leave for their honeymoon right now, but since Luna was already in debt, worried about any more expenses, she canceled the whole trip. So Mike and she got into an argument about this whole thing as Luna refused to tell Mike why she did that. Since she had no other option, she tells Mike the truth this morning, and the result of that was worse than I expected. Mike was really disappointed about how Luna had lied to her about such a big thing. As much as I know, Mike is one of those guys that just can't tolerate lies and dishonesty. So when Luna asked for his help, Mike refused to even pay a dime for it. Not only this, he was furious at her that he decided to annul his marriage as he couldn't imagine his life was such a big liar. This is what my mother told me this morning when she called me to shout at me about what I've done. Not only that, both my parents have been calling me nonstop and have actually threatened me that if I do not pay the bills, they'll cut me off. 
Honestly, I don't care anymore. They can do whatever they please. I just wanted to teach a lesson to my selfish sister, and now that it's done, I'm actually relieved. My parents and Luna have been blowing up my phone since the morning, but I'm trying to ignore it. I don't want to be a part of this mess anymore, but I just feel like they won't leave me alone so easily, and I guess we'll just have to see what happens next. But one thing is for certain, uh, this time my mind is made, and I won't be falling for any emotional manipulation. No way in hell I'll be paying a dime for that wedding. I'll keep you guys updated. Final Update Hey guys, I'm back. I know it's been more than a month since I last wrote, but here's an update about what happened and how the villains are in my life. First of all, I've been officially cut off from my family by my parents as I refuse to pay even a dime for all the debt Luna's under, even after all their begging. I can't blame them for being mad, but they can't just keep treating me like a doormat. Still, they've been badgering me all this time and I've threatened them that I would call the cops on them and that has gotten them to shut down. Next, uh, how Luna's dealing with the debt thing. You would wonder, well... My parents and she sold a few stuff trying to pay the debt, but it's so huge that even then they couldn't cover even a 10% charge of the whole thing. And well, it started to create problems between my parents and Luna, and they've started to blame Luna for going so overboard with their expenses. This has led to a rift between them. It's actually funny to see my parents against their favorite child all because of some money issues. So right now, Luna's taken over about three jobs trying to pay for the debt. From the way it looks, she's pretty miserable. I guess all three of them are with the constant quarrels about money and the stress about paying the debt. But it's affected Luna the most. She wanted to start therapy because she was pretty depressed after Mike left her, but she doesn't actually have the money for that either. This is what you get for emotionally manipulating the people around you. And Some of you might think uh, me as cruel for not helping my family in their time of need, but they're the ones who got themselves here with this greed. As for my soon-to-be husband, Sean and me, we're doing great, and yes, yeah, soon-to-be husband because we've decided to ditch a huge wedding all together and instead take a vacation and elope there with just us and a few of our close friends. My family definitely won't be there. I guess it's better this way since after all this mess, um, you know, because of the grand wedding, I just wanted to get married to my fiancé peacefully. I've ditched any idea of a dream wedding, and we're just going ahead with the vacation wedding plan. I'm pretty excited for that, so wish me luck for the next step of my life, guys. Thank you from my side. Thank you to each and every one of you who supported me. Comment Goodbye. number one from the final post says, Dang, that is one heck of a revenge. Your sister never actually knew what hit her until she was knee-deep in debt. I guess that's what she gets for being greedy and spending more just because you were paying. And the way your parents have a strained relationship with both their kids, it's just now a result of their ill treatment towards you. If they had treated you well, then they would not have been in this situation right now. Anyways, please have fun at your wedding. Comment number two says, no, this is crazy. All this planning and plotting just to lead to your sister in trouble? You said you care a lot about her, but it's clear that you're just a selfish brat who cares about no one but yourself. I mean, you went out of your way, spent some money just to put your sister in debt. Come on, stop justifying your selfishness here. We see right through you. All right, guys, those are two completely different perspectives. Which side are you on? Comment number one or comment number two? Let me know down below. Once again, my name's Mr. Redito. I narrate stories like this every day, and if you want to be a part of these stories, consider subscribing. It only takes a second, and all you have to do is click that button, guys. I'll see you tomorrow, and of course, remember, it's cool to be kind. Peace.